Hey, this is Mark Williams of Swine Life Barbecue. Today we're going to do a couple of ribeye steaks on the pellet grill. One of the biggest questions I get asked on social media is how do you do a steak on a pellet grill? How do you get them perfect grill marks every time? It's going to be a simple recipe, a simple cook, but we're going to finish with a really good stone ground mustard butter. Let's get started. So since we're cooking at home tonight, I'm really not going to stress a whole, whole lot about trimming, but there is a few areas here that I would like to address and knock off that just we're not going to eat. So very simple, very clean trim. Anything that you see that you don't like, you know, that's your preference. You can take off. A little fat never hurt nobody. This one don't look too bad at all. Don't get much simpler than that though. So that's about all we're gonna do and we're gonna get ready to season these steaks now. So today we're gonna to season these steaks with our grit and grind combo. If you haven't heard, the grit ain't on the market yet, but it's in the works and this is a good time to do a little R&D. So we're just gonna put a light coat. It's just a simple salt, pepper, garlic rub. Any good AP will work, you know, anything that's to your liking. You kinda of wanna pat it in and we'll do both sides. And then don't forget the edges. And like I say, a good light to medium coat would be perfect for this. Thicker steaks you make go a little heavier, but you know, that's all your preference. Then after the grit, the grind's gonna come to the table. The grind adds a really, really good savory flavor and also adds a great color. Um, a lot of people don't realize that a little bit of a sweet rub actually is pretty good on steak. It brings out a lot of flavor, especially in the fat. And a lot of times if you don't get the edges, now's a good time to get the rest off your cutting board if you can. So now that these are on the cutting board, they're getting happy here sweating. Let's get over here and get this stone ground mustard butter made up real quick. So to start, take a small to medium sized saucepan. I get a stick of butter melted. Once it's melted, add you about a tablespoon of a good black pepper. Take a half a lemon, squeeze as much juice as you can into that butter. Don't worry about the seeds or pulp, we're gonna strain it at the end. Once you get that blended, about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of a good stone ground mustard. Get that mixed up and we're gonna ready to incorporate this rosemary. Now I'm not gonna put the rosemary directly in the butter because I don't wanna overpower what we have going. So I take two sprigs, pull the leaves off, add them in a strainer. Once you get them in a the strainer, you'll take your hot butter and you're gonna pour it over the rosemary. That hot butter is gonna pull the oils out of the rosemary and it's gonna give it just the perfect amount of flavor of that rosemary to really complement these steaks. So we're out here at the Grilla Grill Silverback. I'm gonna bump the temp up to about 485 and we're gonna see how that does. I think we'll be fine. We'll get them grates up to close to 600 degrees and we'll have some really good sear marks. But while I'm out here, I'm gonna take a little nonstick cooking spray, spray these grates down good. That way that rub don't stick and we'll still have them good grill marks. A few more minutes, we'll be ready to cook some ribeyes. So we're gonna take a few minutes, we're gonna check these grate temps. The biggest and best tool I've ever had when it comes to cooking with grill grates is a good infrared thermometer. You want to shoot for that 600 to 650 range. I wouldn't go too much hotter than that. I mean, that's spot on. So she is ready to cook. So let's go inside. We'll grab these ribeyes. We're gonna get them on here, do a quick cook, and we'll see how they turn out. So we got the pellet grill up to temp. The grates are good and hot. We're ready to put them on. So I would say a lot of times, some of these steaks, they'll get really tender after rub gets on them. So you might kind of have to form them as you go on with it. Just give them a good press. Same thing with that one. Good press. And we're gonna set a timer for two minutes. At two minutes, we'll give them a twist. And then another two minutes, we'll give them a flip. So it's been two minutes. We're gonna reset our timer and then give them a twist. So I always try to go to a, a fresh spot on the grates. That way you got good, clean, hot grates ready to go for the marks. So it's been another two minutes. It's time to flip them.
Got good grill marks. We'll go another two minutes and then we'll start checking for doneness. So it's been another two minutes. We're gonna give them a twist. This will be the last twist. Now since these are a little bit different thicknesses, we really need to start washing the doneness on this little one. We're about 119. That one's a good bit further behind, but that's no big deal. We're gonna keep an eye on that one. When it hits 125, 127, it's coming off. So it's been an additional one minute since we checked them. We're gonna check this thin one one more time. We're 125, 126, she's done. So we're gonna get this one up and let it start resting. Just go straight in the pan with it. While it's resting, we're gonna take our stone ground mustard butter Give it a good mix and just drizzle it over it. So it's been another minute. We're gonna check this thicker one. So we're 105, two is steadily dropping. Whoop, we got a good spot right there. But I think it still has a good ways to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a raised rack and put it in here. That way it don't stay on them grates and keep cooking that one side so bad and you actually have two, almost two darker grill marks. So we'll raise it, we'll check it and make sure. We're about averaging about 110, so probably another two minutes raise, it'll be done. So I've took these ribeyes and I put them on this cutting board, kind of letting them calm down to rest for a few minutes. To start it all off, we took two choice grade ribeyes from Kroger, something simple. Seasoned them simple with grit and grind. One on the grill, had 600 degree grates. Got the good sear marks that we were wanting to have that good grill grate pattern we were looking for. We finished them with a little bit of stone ground mustard butter. I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready to try one of these. So we're gonna take this thick one and I'm gonna go right across the middle just to see if I nailed the donuts or not. I'm shooting for a good medium, medium rare. Looks pretty good to me. So on a ribeye, everybody knows, that spinalis is the money. That is where the best taste is. So I'm gonna take me a little piece right here. Of course, gotta get a little bit of the outside crust. And we're gonna give it a go. You would have never known that was cooked on a pellet grill. I guarantee you I could lay this beside any other grill out there and I don't think you'd be able to pick them apart because that is a excellent flavor. So that's a wrap for us today at Swine Life. Man, I appreciate y'all checking this video out. If y'all got any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram. I'll be doing my best to answer anything you got. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check us out next time.